in this video we will cover how to find the quantity of good x and y that maximizes the utility of consumer using lagrange multiplier it is a mathematical way of finding the quantity of goods that maximize the uh, utility of our consumer so as we can see here we have a cop douglas utility function suppose we are facing this function our consumer is having this type of utility function in your exam you can get any form of utility function so basically we will discuss a basic idea of how to set up a lagrange and how to find the quantity of good x and good y that maximizes the utility of consumer so suppose in exam or suppose you are having this uh, utility function your consumer is having this utility function of this form this is a cop douglas utility function x to the power alpha multiplied by y to the power beta this is the general form of the uh, cop douglas function cop douglas utility function or cop douglas function in general now if we have this function then how can we find those quantity of x good x and good y that maximizes the utility of our consumer so first we will form this type of equation so this is basically how we set up a lagrange so this equation l is equal to x alpha y beta plus lambda times i minus p x into x minus p y into y this is the equation for the lagrange and lambda is the multiplier so the basic idea is if you are having any utility function in your exam so you will just write that function first you will write that function as it is then you will put a uh, addition sign so that utility function plus then the lambda times you will write this equation as it is i minus p x which is the price of good x into x which is the quantity of good x minus p y which is price of the good y into y which is the quantity of good y so after setting this equation we have uh, done we are done with the uh, setting the lagrange now we will find some quantity suppose x star y star at which the utility of consumer is maximum so for this we will use derivatives differentiation so we will take partial derivatives of this equation equation l we will take uh, par partial derivatives of this equation with respect to x y and lambda so we will get three equations like this and these three equations are partial derivatives of l with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to lambda and this is how we will uh, solve for those values where the utility is maximum for this you need some basic knowledge of differentiation and derivatives and partial derivatives how to calculate them so as we already have these equations these solved equations for the partial derivatives of l with respect to these three variables after getting these equations we will solve for the values so we will solve for the value of prices for the both of the goods or we can get something like this if we have a cop douglas function this is not a general thing that you will always get some equation like this after solving the uh, those three equations but in general when you will try to find the values for px or py you will get some relation uh, ship after solving these equations and that will help you in finding further the quantities that gonna maximize the utility so if i have this uh, relationship where alpha times y upon beta times x is equal to px by py and of course uh, one thing to remember is any time if you have this cop douglas function every time you will get this relation only so this is a kind of thing that you need to remember only in relation to the cop cop douglas function so here we have assumed that the sum of the alpha and beta is 1 alpha and beta the powers of 
x and y uh, respectively this sum is 1 this is assumption for this cobb uh, cobb douglas function so from this we can get the value of p y into y p y into y which is this okay so now we can use this value and put it in the equation the budget equation that we have used here in the equation this this equation where we need to put the value of py into y you can uh, find any value for px into x whatever you like in this example we have found the relation or uh, the value for the product of quantity of y into price of y now after substituting this value which you will get into the budget constraint equation you will get the values the maximum utility values for x and y suppose x star and y star so in this equation for this cobb douglas function general uh, cobb douglas uh, function equation x star will be alpha times i divided by px that is the price of x and for y the y star the quantity of y that maximizes utility of the consumer the value will be beta times i which is income divided by py which is price of good y so the individual will allocate alpha percentage of income to good x and beta percentage of the income to good y now let's sum up what we have seen here so if you have any utility function just make a uh, make an equation like this for that function you will just put the utility function as it is put a addition sign then lambda times in bracket you will write the budget constraint that is income minus px into x minus py into y after making this equation you will take partial derivatives of this equation with respect to x y and lambda after solving for values for the price or the quantity values you will put that into the equation the budget equation and find the value of x star and y star which are the point which are the values of the good x and good y or quantity of good x and good y where the consumer can find the maximum utility now <clears throat> let's look at this utility function as we have done already we will take this utility function as it is that is the x to the power 0.5 plus y to the power 0.5 so i'll write this utility function as it is put a plus sign then lambda times i minus px into x minus py into y this is my lagrange equation and lambda is lagrange multiplier i'll find three equations by taking partial derivatives of this equation l or taking partial derivative of equation l with respect to x y and lambda so i'll get three equations now i can solve these two equations and find some value of px into py or py into y or px into x i can find some uh, values by solving these two equations so suppose after solving these two equations i'll get this relationship now after simplifying this relationship i can get some maybe p y into y and i'll put that p y into y into the budget constraint equation that we have already seen i can put that into the budget constraint equation i can put that into this third equation and then find for the value of x star and y star that maximizes the utility of my consumer so the procedure for setting up lagrange with any utility function is same so in general if i uh, let not take any example of a utility function in very general case for setting up a lagrange i would say just take the utility function that you have in your question or you are facing in your exam just take that utility function put a plus sign and write lambda times i minus px into x minus py into y put this budget equation into the bracket in brackets now this is uh, the lagrange equation now you have to take partial derivatives of this lagrange equation with respect to x 
so first we will take partial derivative with respect to x then with respect to y and then with respect to lambda so i'll solve the equation with the partial derivative of x and y i'll solve those equation and find some value for px into x or py into y find some value and put those value into th in third equation and solve for the missing values by this i'll get some uh, value of x and y those values are my uh, those values are my quantities of x and y which maximizes the utility of the consumer so if consumer will purchase those x star and y star amount or quantity of good x and y respectively the utility he'll receive will be the maximum that he can receive given his utility function so this was a very uh, short video regarding the lagrange multiplier we have already done the utility maximization condition graphical uh, conditions in previous video you can find it in my uh, on my channel thank you